Mindful Eating A Path To A Healthy Body Let's revise and reco. Rice cooked contains high energy values in calories in 100 gram quantity which produces minimum 500 calories. Starchy foods are an essential part of a balanced diet as they provide energy, fiber and a sense of fullness. Vitamins and minerals are a form of nutrients that are needed in small amounts in our body, also they called micronutrients. Malnutrition includes undernutrition, overweight and obesity, and other diet-related NCDs, like type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease. Introduction Food is the basic requirement of all the living organisms. Food consists of various chemical substances that we need for energy to grow and to remain healthy. These chemical substances are called nutrients of food. Intake of these nutrients in the form of food is called nutrition. The study of the role of different components of the diet of living organism is called nutrition. For determining the nutritional value of different components of diet, different experiments are performed. Such experiments include feeding diets lacking in one or more components in organisms such as rats. The effects of such a diet on the health of the rat is studied for a long time. The findings from these studies are further verified with human volunteers who participate in such experiments. On the basis of such studies, scientists have found that a balanced diet is essential for maintaining good health. A balanced diet is one that provides an adequate intake of the nutrients for health and growth. Components of food Seven components are present in food. These are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, fiber, and water. Carbohydrates Carbohydrates are energy-giving compounds. The bulk of our food consists of carbohydrates which are in the form sugar and starch. When we eat sugar, our body uses it to release energy. The body does not burn it at high temperature, nor does it do so in one step. Instead, it breaks the substances in several steps, each releasing some energy. The breaking down is done at 31 degrees Celsius, helped by substances called enzymes. Very little heat energy is released as waste. The energy from the sugar is stored in a chemical form for use by the body. Of course, we eat only a little bit of sugar every day. The main carbohydrate that we eat comes from rice, wheat and cereals and is called starch. Starch is made by putting together many molecules of sugar chemically and is hence called a polymer. The term poly means many and dimers means units. Its energy content is thus far larger than that of a sugar molecule. Most of our requirements of carbohydrates are met by the plants. Plants produce carbohydrates during photosynthesis, which are stored in the form of starch, sugar and fats. Fruit juices contain simple sugars, glucose and fructose. Jaggery, sugar cane, sugar beet and many ripe fruits, mango and melons contain sucrose. While potatoes, rice, wheat, sweet potatoes, tapioca and banana are rich in starch. Serial number Food stuff Quantity Energy Value in calories 1. Chapati 1. 150 2. Bread 1. Slice 73 Apple 1. Large piece 100 4. Rice cooked 100 grams 500 600 5. Butter 1 tablespoon 100 6. Banana 100 7. Milk 1 cup 150 8. Orange 176 9. Meat 50 gram 100 10. Egg 100 
11. Carrot row 140. 5. 12. Curd 1 half cup. 30. 13. Tomato row 125. Fact file. To improve the taste of processed foods, producers often add sugar to them. This type of sugar is known as added sugar and it is not good for our health. Common types of added sugar include table sugar, sucrose and syrups such as high fructose corn syrup. Fat file. The main types of fat found in food are saturated fats, unsaturated fats. Saturated fats are found in many foods, both sweet and savory and unsaturated fats mostly found in oils from plants and fish. Go to friendly. 30% of the food produced is wasted which has serious repercussions for the environment. Reducing waste in your household is simple. Freeze anything you can't eat while it's fresh and where possible buy loose produce, so you can select the exact amount that you need. Fats. Fats produce more energy than carbohydrates. To stay healthy, we need to have some fat in our diet. Fats are like an energy bank in living organisms. Many animals such as the bear, whale and walrus store energy in their bodies as fat for future use. Fats are important not only as stored energy but also for the flavor and taste that they give to the food. Oils like the ones used in cooking, butter, ghee, milk, cheese, meat, eggs, fish, and nuts like ground nuts and cashew nuts are rich in fats. Do you know? Animal fats, that is, ghee and butter, contain cholesterol. If the cholesterol is present excess in blood, it can get deposited on the walls of blood vessels. This makes the blood vessels narrow. In such a case, the heart has to work hard to push the blood through narrow blood vessels. This leads to heart attack. Proteins Proteins are required for building the body cells and to repair worn out cells and tissues. These also help in growth of the body and strengthen us to fight against infections and various diseases. If we get hurt, our skin gets damaged and bleeding occurs. After a few days, we notice that new skin starts covering the damaged area. This is done by proteins which we eat every day in our meal. We get proteins from animal sources like milk, eggs, white portion of the egg, meat and fish. We also get proteins from plant sources like pulses, corn, soya, bean, peas and nuts. Animal proteins are considered better than plant proteins as they are completely digested by the body. Besides, plant proteins lack some essential amino acids which animal proteins have. Soya bean is the best source of plant protein. We cannot store proteins in our bodies. Excessive proteins are either broken down or excreted as urea or converted into glycogen. Proteins can provide us energy if necessary. However, their main function is to form tissues and certain compounds, like enzymes and hormones. Vitamins Vitamins are very important for proper functioning of our body. These are required in very small quantities in comparison to carbohydrates, fats and proteins. They are known as protective foods as they protect our body from diseases. Help in keeping our bones, teeth, gums and eyes healthy. Different types of vitamins have been given specific names, such as vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E and vitamin K. There are two classes of vitamins. These are as follows. Water-soluble vitamins. Vitamins B complex and C are water-soluble and are absorbed in body fluids. Our body does not store water-soluble vitamins, 
and their excess quantities are excreted through the urine. Fat-soluble vitamins. Vitamins A, D, E, and K are fat-soluble vitamins. They are absorbed along with the ingested dietary fats by the small intestine and can be stored in liver cells and fat tissues. Sources of different vitamins and their specific roles in our body are given in Table 3.2. Do you know? The term vitamin was given by a Polish scientist, Kazmier Funk. Excess of fat-soluble vitamins in food causes hypervitaminosis. Serial number Vitamin Sources of daily meals Functions 1. Vitamin A retinol Milk, butter, cheese, tomatoes, carrots, cod liver oil, yellow fruits, etc. Maintenance of good eyesight 2. Vitamin B complex mixture of several vitamins Milk, eggs, cheese, meat, liver, husk of cereals and pulses Digestion, growth functioning of muscles and nerves 3. Vitamin C Ascorbic acid Citrus fruits, orange, lemon, lime, green vegetables, tomatoes Maintenance of good skin and gums. 4. Vitamin D produced by sun on skin, milk, egg yolk, crude, liver, mushroom, bone, and teeth formation. 5. Vitamin K made by bacteria in large intestine, leafy green vegetables, spinach, cabbage, cauliflower, etc. Blood clotting.